New at 10, an abandoned golf course is set to be developed in a new, uh, into a new housing development. And this comes after the Pima County Board of Supervisors approved the rezoning request this week. News for Tucson's Gabrielle Parrish is live on the north side with more about this. Gabrielle. Monica, I'm standing above the Pima Wash where the Quail Canyon housing development is expected to be built right across where I'm standing. Now, many people I spoke with today are very upset about this, and I would say that that's an understatement of how they're feeling. We had collected well over a thousand signatures on petitions opposing the rezoning. Some residents who live nearby where the development is set to go up worry this project will impact wildlife and public safety and more homes in this area could mean more flooding during monsoon. Pima County Board of Supervisor Rex Scott in a statement said in part, quote, from the flood control district's perspective, the development meets and exceeds federal, state, and local flood mitigation standards. It can be constructed such that it is at minimal risk of flood damage and that it does not cause an adverse impact to others. Longtime neighbors in this part of Casa Adobe say Rudisil Road is known to flood, especially during the monsoon. And when they build this, they are going to raise the level to minimize the water that flows into the development and it will divert it onto the half of the wash that's on our property, and that will basically double the flow rate. Neighbors are already raising concerns in regards to how the new development could bring more traffic to an already congested part of town. Well, our biggest concern is traffic safety. Uh, anybody who has driven on this section of Rudisil Road is very much aware of the hazards that it presents. The road is, uh, has very limited li line of sight. Supervisor Scott, aware of the neighbors' concerns, addressed this saying in part, quote, Although the roadway is below capacity and is able to handle the increased traffic this development will produce, longtime neighbors have attested to safety problems on the roadway that have persisted for decades. I will relentlessly advocate for the short-term, medium, and long-term improvements outlined in the Department of Transportation's memo. Additionally, there's a very sharp S-curve that has been the site of several accidents and, and at least one or two fatalities. Now, I know it's dark, but over there is where more than 300 apartments are expected to be built. Now, people that live in the area tell me they are deeply concerned that this development will inspire other developers to develop more housing developments in washes or near them. Reporting live from the north side, Gabrielle Parrish, News 4 Tucson.